Hello world, and welcome to Crubble Space Program, and I have another mod spotlight for you. Yes, this time we're going to be looking at CAS, the Kerbal Attachment System. You have probably seen it once or twice before, it's quite a popular mod. Um, I'm pretty sure at first it just added winches and the ability to like sky crane things, which is pretty cool. Um, then some other features and stuff, and we're going to be going over, I think, one of the most recent features, and that's fuel pipes, or pipes in general. Here we have the Delta Star 1 on the launch pad, and, well, she needs to be filled with fuel. So, uh, we need to bring some fuel to the pad, and that is actually leaning. Hmm. I'd be worried about that if I was a scientist. Anyway, let's hop over to the fueler truck. And here we are in the fuel master. Now, first off, this thing is a slug because the brake's on, that's why. <laughs> we are carrying these crates on the sides here. These are part of Kerbal Attachment System. They come in two sizes. We have the large size on here. And if we open them, we can take a look. And that one is empty. And that has a cool sound effect. I did not know that. We we'll open this one, and this contains ten pipe endpoints. Cool, huh? These are these boxes are actually in these little mount brackets, and we can release them, or a Kerbal can unattach them. So that's pretty cool. And we'll go over that more once we reach our destination. Which I don't know. This thing moves pretty well. Right, that there is the pipe endpoint, as we've got a crate of them. And that's basically what we're going to be using to transfer fuel. But we're going to do it nicely and safely from a distance, because we don't want to bring this big old vehicle over near that rocket. So we're going to set it up slightly a ways and run a pipeline. Rodri, our uh, resident fuel expert, is going to do that. There should be good enough. Now, I've never tested this for maximum length, but we shall see. What we're going to do is we're going to put the brakes on so we don't have to deal with that nonsense. Get out, Rodri. you got business to do. Just to show you what we can do with these containers. Hopefully he'll... he can't reach. That's a problem. That's why I put ladders. He can if he jumps. Okay, let's jump it. We can open the container if we jump, as you can see. Or we can take it. Let's, uh, let's get on the ladder, shall we? If I can do that. Come on. Rodri, be good. Thank you. Now, let's take this top one, and we can grab it, also available with the G key, and it'll stick to our Kerbal's back in a comical fashion. It does get caught on things, it does have a collision mesh, just to warn you there. But, uh, there we go. It's got a ridiculously huge backpack now. And, oh, I broke, yeah, I really did break those wheels. Oh, well. Okay. Anyway. If we drop this box and open her up, open, we can grab out one of these. This is a ground pylon. This is what we're going to be using uh, just to support our fuel line. I don't know whether this is necessary. It might be a thing to increase the length, but it gives it a lot of stability over the land anyway. So we're going to place one just at the base of here and then one up on the top of the runway and then we'll see what we can do. And to place, you click the item that's on the backpack, and you can drop it, just drop it on the floor, as you do. And it's grab it, and attach gives you this. Oh, don't right click while you're like that. And there, B and N, you can rotate and do all sorts. And it's very cool. And there we go, we've attached it. Awesome. Uh, these boxes, they have a mass, and you can fit as many items up until that maximum mass. So, uh, there is a limit, they're not magic inventory. And that is cool with me. The spaceship up there, actually, uh, the orbiter has two of the smaller crates as part of the orbiter. as like a little supply vehicle. Pipe end point 10, that's the one. That's cool. Down you go. Good job, Rodri. Everything's going according to plan. You could do it quicker, though. These boxes do, I think, despawn if they're not connected to anything. So, uh, you know, just warning for that. Drop open container. And we can just spam this a little bit and it'll kind of just pile them up on the floor. And explosions do happen. 
I've had things randomly explode. So, be warned. What I'm doing now is I'm just attaching these end points just to this block here. And I'll demonstrate, to, uh, demonstrate connecting the fuel line now. This is kind of more of a tutorial kind of spotlight, but it's cool. I like uh, I like this mod a lot. It's come a long way, and of course the link button, and that gives us this pipe which we can magically run over. Now, unlike other kind of laser-like refueling mods that had just a glowing line, this has a cool-looking pipe. That's cool. Essentially, it's docking, and this will all be one vehicle once it's connected. But uh, I ain't got no problems with that. It's attach, kind of get it in line-ish. Yellow just out of range. Uh, yeah, yellow means you're out of range of where you can put it, and red are places you're not allowed, like on the Kerbal's head. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm actually just going to set this up and do the final connection off camera. Alright, as you can see, I had to add another one in the middle there. That length there is about the maximum... I hope I've got cursor enabled. <laughs> I think I've said that like three times now. I probably did by now, I hope so. Um, yeah, there is a maximum length unsupported pipes can go. Um, walking on this is getting a little ridiculously hard around this edge. But it should be fine. There's also an angle. Um, you can't kind of exceed a certain angle of the pipe leaving the uh, the thingamabob, the end point. Otherwise, it'll go funny. Well, you just won't be able to attach it, so... Okay, um, I'm going to have to attach it really low by the looks of it because we're too short. That's alright, we'll feed it directly into the engine. What could possibly go wrong? Awesome. And that's all one vehicle, so I'm going to actually cut fraps while I switch. And here we are, and as always the camera focuses on the center point of the mass, which is two lumps of mass, like this. Um, yeah, not bad, looks good, I like it. Uh, I hate to try and launch the rocket like this, but now, if we go like that, hold down ALT, and do that, we can out and out, and as you can see, here's the camera changing its point of mass, because the rock is becoming heavier than the fueler. There we go. As you can see, this works pretty well. I'm pretty sure this is going to work with Cathane, because all it does is dock the vehicles together, and then you can just transfer as normal. So I'm I'm willing to bet without trying that this works with Cathane. Uh, I really want to try and lift off with these attached. So I'm gonna. Uh, center for mass, please, sir. Let's activate all these engines. Here we like to stress test all our rocket designs and random things. Oh yeah, and here's these smaller boxes as a payload just in there. There they are, CAS, little containers. Pretty funky. I like them. Right, see us on. Throttle up. Disconnect. And we are taking the fuel line with us and the truck a bit. Oh, the truck exploded. Holy hell. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, guys. Escape. Survive. That fuel line's just flailing around. And I have to right click to the couple. Wow, that's so much. My frame rates. Why are you, you've eaten them? The couple. The couple the module. Ah, so much explosions. No, you're not gonna decouple. You're jammed, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I've got some madmans here, Ludbart and Oldbest, love it! When is it going to end? Wow, that truck went orbital, nearly. Wow, look at all that junk.
<laughs> wow, what have I done? Oh, we're finally decoupled. Yeah, this truck's are probably holding in. I need to redesign. Uh, that sounds like... That's just... That can't be just all bits still falling, can it? That's just a constant explosion. That's it having a funny, funny moment, isn't it? Okay. Advice, guys? Don't do what I just did. Alright, guys, here we are with the tow truck. Yes, uh, this fe is basically featuring the last part, so here we have the boxes. That's, uh, can we drop them from here? Harwig. Oh no, I accidentally clicked the wrong thing. I want to see if I can drop them. Yes, I can do a cargo drop. That's cool. That is cool. Anyway, our bro over there has, uh, he's got a flat tire. And we need to tow him. So, let's go demonstrate towing. We've got a couple of uh, winches on the back here. There are several different styles and sizes of winches available. Uh, I'm only just looking at these ones because, quite frankly, they're all the same, just for different, you know, occasions. And the fun thing is you get all different kind of ends for them. So if we put on the brakes, um, we're going to have to get another dude out, aren't we? Let's take a look at the, all the various parts. we have uh, I'm not really sure what a hook support is, but... Uh, oh, I see. It is just a, it replaces the old rack. All right. Well, anyway, this thing I've just picked up is the grappling hook. Now, this is great for um, cranes because it, it locks on on impact. Um, we can attach it. I uh, don't think it works like that, does it? Not really. But Oh well. Um, we can... what's it? P plug... You didn't have it... Ah, okay, we have to plug things into it. Yep, so if you come up here and you uh, grab the connector, we can then plug it in. And uh, yeah, you basically release... you have a quite a large um, GUI on the vehicle if you right click in the next one is the um the anchor there it is let's just drop that on the floor if we can yes there it is now the anchor is it has like a really high drag value um this is good for ships and airships it basically just anchors them to the ground it does what it says on the tin around here we've got a stack connector thing, which I'm not quite sure of its functionality. Right, that's the stack connector. Nope, that one is. Okay. And of course, this, the electromagnet. The electromagnet picks up anything metal and will adhere to it when you turn it on. There's a funny little cool sound effect. And uh, drop it, please, sir. Thank you. Of course, it requires electricity. It's the little lightning bolt on. Now, they come in these lovely textures that kind of match up very well. Now, what you can do, which is by far the simplest, but it obviously it requires planned thinking, is we can attach it to these radial connector ports. Radial connector ports are literally ports just meant for these parts. So if we just pick these up, if we can, okay. The Y key, apparently, for that. And just saunter over there. Come on, Jeb. This is Jeb. Yeah, Jeb. Jeb, the trucker man. There we go. Now, these two things are effectively docked together, and one can tow the other. So, let's do a bit of switcheroos. Here we go. Now, one of these has got brakes on. They all have. Now, can I... Let me let's just take a look at the, the GUI as it is. Where is it? Show GUI! There we are, and we have quite a complex GUI. It's not really complex, it's actually quite laid out, laid out quite well. There's just a lot of things you can do. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, this is funky, they've actually got new sliders. I wonder what happens if I push them all the way that way. Oh, it's motor speed. Motor speed setting. Okay, and this is the current motor speed. That is actually retracting. Ah, funky little sound effect. Now we should, oh wow. 
Okay, a little bit too much. You can stop any time. <laughs> I've created a train. <laughs> oh dear. As you can see, you can you can basically just tow vehicles around, and it's a lot of fun. And I've kind of bugged that up because these are kind of shoddily made designs, but you can do quite a lot. And where's the button? Release, release, and release actually just makes them loose, and then you can unplug them. Yeah. There's your unplug button. And we're free. And uh, so much for towing those vehicles, eh? <laughs> anyway, this was uh, the Kerbal Attachment System. A very, very well-made mod. It's been around for quite a while. And it's got lots of features and lots of buttons and electromagnets. And it's all fun. And those pipes are awesome. Just don't try and fly everything into, sp into the air like while it's still attached. Because that kind of went ridiculous and I had to kind of go back to a previous little quick save. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, links in the description to the forum with download and everything for the mod. Check it out. If you haven't already, most people have. If they're into mods, it's one of those mods. It's like, you know, super popular. I just had to cover the pipes. It was awesome. So, Buy from me and buy from Hanwig. Although he seems quite content for being upside down and spinning wheels. Hmm. Bye!